It's uh, tobacco and marijuana in there. That's all it is. This is Elon Musk. He's the richest man on the planet with a net worth of over $200 billion. He's been involved in PayPal, Tesla, SpaceX, The Boring Company, OpenAI, and Neuralink, all while focusing on his long-term goal of escaping Earth and colonizing Mars. But it hasn't always been a smooth road for him. Growing up, his father tormented him, and he was relentlessly bullied at school. He almost went broke more than once and incited lawsuits and government scrutiny. He's also come under fire for his provocative and controversial activities. Various outlets have described him as a troll who got lucky with his companies. He's also started multiple Twitter beefs throughout the years. Between electric cars, space rockets, and solar batteries, at one point, he was even predicted to become the world's first trillionaire. This is how he went from bullied schoolboy to startup founder to the most eccentric billionaire in the world. He was born on June 28, 1971 in Pretoria, South Africa. His mother, May, was a professional dietitian and model. She has appeared on boxes of Special K cereal and the cover of Time magazine. His father, Errol Musk, was a South African electromechanical engineer and property developer who once owned half of a Zambian emerald mine. After his parents divorced in 1979, the nine-year-old Musk and his younger brother, Kimball, decided to live with their father, a choice he made two years after the divorce and subsequently regretted. He'd become estranged from his father and described him as a terrible human being who has done almost every evil thing you could possibly think of. In 1983, at the age of 12, Musk sold a simple game called Blastar to a computer magazine for $500. He described it as a trivial game, but better than Flappy Bird. His school days were brutal. He was once hospitalized after being beaten by bullies. The bullies threw him down a set of stairs and beat him until he blacked out. After graduating from high school, he moved to Canada with his mother, his sister Tosca, and his brother Kimball, and spent two years studying at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. He went to America and finished his studies at the University of Pennsylvania, earning degrees in physics and economics. While studying at the University of Pennsylvania, he and his classmate rented out a 10-bedroom frat house and turned it into a nightclub. The move, which he undertook with his friend, was one of his first entrepreneurial experiments. After graduation, he traveled to Stanford University to study for his PhD, but he dropped out after only two days, deciding to test his luck in the dot-com boom that was just getting underway. He never returned to finish his studies at Stanford. With his brother Kimball, he launched Zip2. A cluster of Silicon Valley investors helped to fund the company, which provided city travel guides to newspapers like the New York Times and the Chicago Tribune. While Zip2 got off the ground, he literally lived in the office and showered at a local YMCA. The hard work paid off when Compaq bought Zip2 in a deal worth $341 million in cash and stock, earning Musk $22 million. In 1999, he started X.com, an online banking company. He launched the company using $10 million of the money he got from the Zip2 sale. About a year later, X.com merged with Confinity, a financial startup co-founded by Peter Thiel, to form PayPal. In late 2002, he made a fortune when eBay bought PayPal for $1.5 billion. As PayPal's single biggest shareholder, he netted $165 million. In early 2002, he founded the company that would be known as Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX. His goal was to make spaceflight cheaper by a factor of 10. SpaceX's long-term goal was to make colonizing Mars affordable. His next venture was Tesla, an electric car company co-founded by veteran startup exec Martin Eberhard. He took an active product role at Tesla, helping develop its first car, the Roadster. In 2006, the all-electric Roadster debuted when Musk was serving as Tesla's chairman. In 2007, he staged a boardroom coup at Tesla, first ousting Eberhard from his CEO seat and then from the company's board and executive suites entirely. In 2008, with the financial crisis seriously limiting his options, he personally saved Tesla from bankruptcy. He invested $40 million in Tesla and loaned the company $40 million more. 
Not coincidentally, he was named the company's CEO the same year. Right around Christmas 2008, he got some good news. SpaceX had landed a $1.5 billion contract with NASA to deliver supplies into space, and Tesla finally found more outside investors. By June 2010, Tesla held a successful initial public offering. The company raised $226 million in the IPO. To get his finances back on track, he sold shares worth about $15 million in the offering. His extraordinary career was starting to get noticed in other circles too, most notably in Hollywood. He even had a cameo in Iron Man 2. By the end of 2015, SpaceX had made 24 launches on assignments like resupplying the International Space Station, setting lots of records along the way. In 2016, the SpaceX Falcon 9 made the first successful ocean landing of a reusable orbital rocket. The Falcon Heavy, the successor to the Falcon 9, and the most powerful rocket SpaceX has built to date, completed a successful maiden launch in February 2018. The Falcon Heavy carried a unique payload, a dummy dubbed Starman, and his personal cherry red Tesla Roadster, which were launched toward Martian orbit. He couldn't stop coming up with new ideas, like the Hyperloop, a super high-speed train that travels in a vacuum tube, the Hyperloop could theoretically transport passengers from Los Angeles to San Francisco in 30 minutes. On December 11, 2015, he co-founded OpenAI, a non-profit dedicated to researching artificial intelligence and assuring it doesn't destroy humanity. In 2016, he started The Boring Company, which aims to dig a network of tunnels under and around cities for high-speed, no traffic driving. In July 2016, he founded Neuralink, which aims to build devices that can be implanted inside the human brain, with the short-term goal of treating serious brain diseases and long-term goal of human enhancement. On August 7th, 2018, he ran into some trouble when he sent a tweet declaring he was considering taking Tesla private at $420 per share and had already secured funding. Just a few days later, the SEC sent Tesla subpoenas about the company's plans to go private and his comments. By September 2018, the SEC had formally filed a lawsuit against him, accusing him of making false and misleading statements. He settled with the SEC, which resulted in both him and Tesla paying a $20 million fine and Musk agreeing to step down as chairman of Tesla's board. He's quite outspoken on Twitter. Throughout the years, he started multiple Twitter beefs. He called Elizabeth Warren Senator Karen, he called Joe Biden a damp sock puppet, and he keeps forgetting that Bernie Sanders is still alive. In December 2019, Musk won a victory in court when a jury ruled he was not guilty of defaming the British diver Vernon Unsworth. Unsworth had filed a defamation lawsuit in 2018 after Musk called him a pedo guy on Twitter. He's been heavily involved with cryptocurrency and has been accused of manipulating the crypto market. He hyped up Dogecoin, which started out as a joke. He repeatedly expressed his affection for the token. Ahead of his appearance as host of Saturday Night Live, its price shot up. Then it tanked. The crypto market seemed to soar or plunge based on his tweets. This made the trillion dollar crypto market chaotic and unsafe for new investors, which garnered unwanted attention from regulators. SpaceX had two major milestones in 2020. First, in May, when SpaceX partnered with NASA to complete its first launch of astronauts into space. Then, in November, SpaceX completed its first operational human spaceflight by sending four astronauts to the International Space Station for a six-month stay. Tesla also had a good year. On December 21, 2020, Tesla joined the S&P 500, which caused its stock to soar, and the company was worth over $1 trillion. Recently, his long-term spat with Amazon founder Jeff Bezos has reached new heights as SpaceX and Bezos' rival company, Blue Origin, have bickered over NASA contracts and their competing satellite projects. Elon Musk even tweeted the silver medal emoji to Jeff Bezos when he surpassed him to become the world's richest person. According to Forbes magazine, he is still the world's richest person with a net worth of over $200 billion, ahead of Jeff Bezos, 
Bill Gates, and Mark Zuckerberg. He may already be the world's richest person, but some analysts predict he could become the world's first trillionaire. There's a lesson in every journey to success. What can we learn from Elon Musk's rise to the top? Although he's controversial and is often seen as an internet troll, there's no doubt he's an extremely hardworking and successful entrepreneur. He's often stated that a key factor of his success is his work rate. He puts a tremendous number of hours into his work, sometimes working upwards of 120 hours per week. His advice to people is to work twice as hard as the average person. He explained, if other people are putting in 40-hour work weeks and you're putting in 100-hour work weeks, then even if you're doing the same thing, you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. Some argue that he's nothing special and just hires great talent to build his companies, while others argue that he's a modern-day genius who revolutionized the tech industry. What are your thoughts? The comment section in this one will be very interesting. Thanks for staying till the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. Also, be sure to check out our other videos on this channel. Links are in the description, and we'll see you next time.